It was Moss the Chronicler who said that the land of Alistia is blessed in the light of the Mother Crystals. And that it was this light which finally led our forebears out of the darkness. Yet, what they saw in the light gave rise to temptation. Temptation that ever lures us back into the crystal shadow. And thus did our journey begin. It'll be light soon. Both camps have begun to stir. You all know the target. Shiva's dominant. And only the dominant. No one else? Where's the fun in that? How do we even know the girl will be among them? Our kind do not question orders. We follow them. Try to keep that in mind. Let's get this done. Focus, Wyvern. You are key to this mission's success. Yes, Sergeant. I said focus, Wyvern!
don't have time for this. All hell is about to break loose. Time to move. Just in time. Quickly! Move! What do you mean, you refuse? Did you not pledge your swords to our cause? Come now. Marshal, the King of Walud is our guest. And you have His Majesty's answer. summoned us at all. Have you so little faith in your own men? It was the Dalmex who drove back the Crusaders in the Battle of the Twin Realms, was it not? Or am I mistaken? Besides... Your dominant has yet to take the field. And when he does, our knights would only get in the way. Perhaps you have not heard, but the Iron Blood now have their own dominant. We would be fools to underestimate them. Bugger their knights. What did you say? Should this citadel be allowed to fall? The capital will lie exposed. And I doubt the Crusaders will wait for the good king's pawns to line up before taking to the board. Which just leaves me. Hoka! The Iron Blood will rule the day they set foot on Storm. This game is over. You cock. <laughs> Benedict. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. 
Take care. Does the lion take care when he chases the hare? Or do you think me one of the latter? No, my love. You are a lion. You're my lion. Mm. <laughs> I'm not afraid of a little frost, Benedicta. But I will need someone to warm me when I come home. <laughs> the front lines are gone. This is our chance. The chaos will conceal us. Take the van. Wait. Something's not right. to die here, Wyvern. Move!
time, Wyvern. Wyvern! I told you before, you do not get to die here. If you're not cut out to be a shield, there's always work for you in the stables. Unless, of course, you think you can defend your master while sat on your ass in a puddle of pig swill. I'm sure he'd find a way. My brother always looks after me. <laughs> right? Go on. You're sure to hit him eventually. Don't give up now. <laughs> Two arms. It wouldn't do to disappoint the gallery. Let's start again from the beginning. Come, show me your form. Good. Such swordsmanship will serve you well in the field. But can the same be said of your spellcraft? The flames of the Phoenix burn within you. Now let them burn without. Come, Clive. Rain fire down upon me. Well done. You wield the Firebird's flames just as a first shield should. You flatter me, my lord. Or would you rather I flattened you? Can be arranged. Let's see if you can elude my blade. After all, your attacking prowess will count for naught if you don't live long enough to use it. On your toes, Lord Rossfield. Good. 
Remember, Clive, your blade is not your only weapon. Quickness of thought and fleetness of foot are indispensable arms in any shield's arsenal. But you are not just any shield, are you? Show me what sets you apart from the rest. You have been blessed by the Phoenix, granted the use of its power. Call upon that power now to close on me. Well, I'm waiting. But even the most agile shield cannot hope to escape every blow. And death may come by a handful of cuts as easily as it comes by a thousand. There is only one way to ensure that you do not fall. Keep your wounds mended and your energies replenished. Speaking of which, my lord, you seem a little worse for wear. Now that won't do at all. That's better. Battle is a succession of pivotal moments, wherein life and death can be decided at a single stroke. You must be ready to utilize every tool at your disposal if you are to navigate a path to victory, or at the very least, to ensure that you live to fight another day. Enough practice. It's time for the test. You've recovered from your soaking, I trust. You wouldn't want to kick a man while he's drowned. I thought you'd never ask. Come then, Lord Rossfield. Spar with me. If you believe yourself worthy to be called Shield of the Flame, then prove it. As you wish, my lord. Have at me, boy. Make proof of your strength. You're sure to beat him this time. You can do it, Clive. Just stay calm. Yeah. Yeah. Ha. Yeah. Ha. You're taking this seriously. Keep going, Clive. Disposals. at last. It's taken me long enough. That was a display worthy of your father. <laughs> you are a true shield of the flame and let no one tell you otherwise. Including me. What are you lot gawping at? Back to your drills. Do 
not sure. I was just tired. The Phoenix's flames are a gift. You mustn't waste them. It isn't a waste. My shields look after me. Why shouldn't I? <laughs> That's why. You were coughing this morning, too. You shouldn't be outdoors. I'll be fine. It's just a cold. Don't push yourself. His grace has returned! Father's back! Hey! <laughs> Your Grace, please, this is no place for one such as you. I would gladly brave hell itself to see my darling boy. Gentlemen, Rosaria thanks you for your indefatigable loyalty. Thank you, Your Grace. We live to serve. Joshua. You should not be out of doors. We have discussed this. I'm sorry. Good day to you, Mother. Come, Joshua. Your father will be expecting us. <laughs> Lord Murdoch? Your Grace. What a way to treat your own flesh and blood. I know. It's not his fault. Not everyone can be born the Phoenix. We should join them. Thank you, Joshua. You are well, I trust? Yes, Father. Much better. Today, Jill and I went to the bay to watch Clive spar. Is that so? Quiet, Toro. Stop it, boy. Not now! He'll make a fine hound one day. Father. Lift up your head, girl. Thank you, Your Grace. The capital rejoices at your safe return, Your Grace. War is coming, my boy. We must make ready. Is the situation truly so grave? Come to the throne room. We will talk there. Yes, Father. Your Grace. Hmm. Shields dismissed! you're going. Hmm? Clive here is off to see the Archduke. Right.
is trouble brewing? I'm not sure. I need to speak with Father. Behind blood are skilled warriors. You could learn a thing or two from them. Not after they've been burned to cinders by the Phoenix's flames. <laughs> that it was so simple. Make sure you get a good edge on that, eh? I know! I'm not about to send our lads off to war with dull blades! Preparation is key. We must be ready to march at any time. You don't need to tell this one. She's raring to go. <laughs> She's heard this speech before. the gates. Let's hope the side entrance is still open. No one is to enter the dungeons, including you, my lord. stuff on tight before the Duchess calls for our heads. Right you are. The Phoenix will be with us. Those savages don't stand a chance. Shift this lot before we lose the light. All right, let's get this stuff unpacked before the Duchess calls for our heads. Right, you are. Make sure all the crystals are accounted for. Forgive me, my lord, but I need to finish inspecting these crystals. Wouldn't do to give our soldiers spent shards. Put on quite the show for us, Lord Rossfield. Any man who can do that deserves to be first shield. Age and experience be damned.
Good as new. Uh, 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 forgive me, Lord Marquess, pray do not concern yourself with this bungling cur. Bow to him, you fool. Uh, 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 Don't I say to speak? It was no trouble, really. Oh, do not indulge him. To be allowed to stand in your lordship's presence is more than his kind deserves. Why, neither the Empire nor the Republic treat their bearers half so well. He was lucky to be born in your father's dominion. Very lucky, as I remind him every day. Stand, please. Stand. I trust his good fortune will continue. Of course, if that is your lordship's wish. Don't work too hard. Remember, it is for the good of the duchy that you serve. As do we all, my lord. As do we all. Come along now. Back to your duties. Getting ready for supper. <laughs> I think someone's hungry. I'm having my bearer fill the well, my lord. Best to save what crystals we can, eh? Weak harvests down again. Apparently. If this war ends up dragging on, we'll starve. Best fill our bellies while we can, then, eh? Fine display, my lord. Almost felt sorry for the Lord Commander. For the two of you, soon enough. We harvest stone again, apparently. This war ends up dragging on the storm. Best fill our bellies while we can, then, eh? Nice and quiet in here, isn't it? There's Joshua! Clive? I... Are you worried about the war? The soldiers will expect the Phoenix to help them, but I don't know if I can. Don't worry, Joshua. Father will guide you. And I will protect you. Always. I know. Thank you, Clive. I'm all right. I promise.
You will put Joshua's comfort and safety before your own. Do you understand? Yeah. Yes, Your Grace. Good luck. You commanded my presence, Your Grace. How may I serve you? All right, you can stop licking my boots. Mother isn't here. Do the territories fare any better? <sighs> Most lie under a pall of black. In just these few moons, the blight has taken nigh on all of the northern reaches. It is only a matter of time before it crosses the border. Nearly every available bed in the capital is already occupied by those fleeing the Deadlands. Even if we were to send them south to Port Isolde, more would only follow in their wake. Every day we delay brings us closer to disaster. We must move now. Against the Iron Kingdom. We have traded blows with them for too long. It is time to end it. At the very least, we must secure Drake's breath. Without the blessing of the Mother Crystal, we cannot defend our realm from the spread of the Blight. The Iron Blood will not relinquish it easily. This will be a bitter fight. We ride for Phoenix Gate tomorrow. There we will listen to the words of our ancestors, as tradition dictates. Am I to go with you as Joshua Shield? There is something else I would have you do first. Rodney. You will have heard the reports, I am sure, of beastmen from the north being sighted within our borders. Goblins in the Stillwind Marshes. I know of the rumors, yes. Then you know what must be done. I will give you two good men. While we ride north tomorrow, you will journey to Stillwind, search it, and clear it. Then you will join us at Phoenix Gate. It is time to prove your strength. And shut your mother up for good. Hmm? <clears throat> I will do my duty, Your Grace. That will be all. Rest well. We ride at dawn. Yes, Your Grace.
This war we need to wage. It isn't only for control of the Mother Crystal. Above all else. We cannot allow those iron blood savages to gain a foothold on Storm. I know. I would sooner die than see them darken our shores again. I wish you a safe journey tomorrow. And I you, Clive. May your blade strike true. Get a good night's sleep, Clive. Tomorrow may ask much of you. We drove the iron blood from our shores once before, but their patriarch still dreams of spreading his message to storm. And when the Crusaders march, they move a damn sight quicker than the Blight ever did. So we recapture the Mother Crystal, end their ambitions, and secure the Duchy. Only the light of the Phoenix can guide us through these dark days. But that does not mean I'm happy asking this of Joshua. Look after him, won't you? Even if it costs me my life. Let's make sure it doesn't come to that. I'm trusting in you to keep your brother safe. No messages, my lord. How long will you be away this time? Not long. Four days, maybe five. And you will be taking Joshua? Well, I can't exactly leave him behind, can I? The blood of the Rosfields runs in his veins. Before going to war, we perform the rite at Phoenix Gate. It's our way. You know that. And only the Dominant can enter the Apotetry, so yes, I'm taking Joshua. Oh, to hell with your way! The boy is ill. You think I don't know that? But the boy is also the phoenix. The heir to the throne. You can't keep him in swaddling clothes all of his life. Elwyn! Don't worry. Clive will watch over him. Though he is a youth of but 15 years, He's already a fine soldier. He will make a splendid shield. You see more in him than the Phoenix did. He was rejected, Elwyn. Our household has no place for such a failure. He is worthless, a man like any other. As am I, my dear. <laughs> Nonsense. You are the Archduke of Rosaria. Oh, not this again. You know as well as I do that I only sit upon the throne because my father was taken before his time. I am merely warming the seat till Joshua comes of age. You are your father's firstborn son, and you sit upon the throne. All is in its right place. Unlike some. <laughs> <laughs> 
You have not disgraced our noble blood. Without men like Clive to keep us safe, your precious noble blood would long since have graced the gutter. We have an early start. I'm going to sleep. This is it then. Time to prove yourself. Wishing on a star? I'm a little old for that. I should get some sleep. Right. You're going with them tomorrow, aren't you? I am Joshua's shield. I'm sworn to protect him. He takes too many risks. I only wish I could save him from himself. Clive, you... I have another mission too. Father has given me my first command. Well, if you're not going to pray to Metia for your safe return, I shall just have to do it for you. There's going to be another war, isn't there? Since coming here, I've begun to take peace for granted. I assumed the war between our nations would be the last. But it never really ends, does it? No. The next war will be bigger than before. But you'll be alright, won't you, Clive? You're a shield of Rosaria, after all, and blessed by the Phoenix. It's getting cold. We should go in. My lady. <laughs> Good night, Clive. <laughs>